Hi, Simon here from Gold Coast Solar Power Solutions. So today we have a Eaton solar inverter, and you can see on the screen it's coming up with no utility, and the red fault light is on. Now, if you ever see the red fault light is on, uh, on that means the system's not working. So you've got a problem and, and uh, something going on that you want to rectify pretty quickly to get your solar power system back in action. Now, in this case here, when, when it has a fault light on, it tells us what's going on on the screen. It says no utility. Now, no utility with an Eaton inverter means that it's not detecting any power from the electricity grid. So there's a few things that you want to check straight away. Uh, in your switchboard, there should be a switch marked solar supply main switch. You want to make sure that's turned in, uh, on, which is usually, uh, it's usually a circuit breaker, a bit like this, and up is usually on on a circuit breaker, so you want to make sure that's on. And if the inverter uh, has one of these, it may, it may have one of these inverter AC isolators. Just want to make sure that's turned on, just like this one is. It's, it's in the on position there. Now, um, if both of those things are turned on and the, the, the connection into the inverter seems okay, and you're still having this no utility error, you are going to have to get a solar accredited electrician to come out and check out what's actually going on with the system. Because for some reason, the inverter's thinking that it's not getting any power from the street. And uh, what, what the electrician will do is come and check inside here and just see if you actually are getting 240 volts from the electricity grid. If you are getting 240 volts from the electricity grid, it tells us that the no utility issue isn't actually a problem inside the inverter. If you are not getting power here, uh, 240 volts AC from the grid, well then that means it's a problem not with the inverter as such, but a problem back down the line, like it could be a problem with the inverter AC isolator, or it could be a problem with the solar supply main switch, or it could be even a case where you have a blackout. Um, so, so that's one of the first things you want to check. So in this case, we definitely have 240 volts AC from the grid getting to the inverter. So that's telling me it's actually an internal problem with this inverter. Now we could try and get that sort of um, fixed, uh, but Unfortunately, these inverters are quite old now and they're usually outside of the warranty period. These inverters did come with a five-year warranty. And if it is outside the warranty period, the best thing to do really, rather than spending good money uh, and getting it, trying to get it repaired, is bite the bullet and spend a bit more money and put it towards a good quality replacement inverter, which is a full uh, factory warranty. And uh, but I'm pretty sure the Eaton inverters, the main ones we see in Australia anyway, are the two kilowatt models. If we have a look over here on the uh, left hand side, we should have the model details of the inverter. So you can see a model number, it's an Eaton ETN2000. The 2000 stands for 2000 watts, as you can see down here, and the nominal output power is 2000 watts. So it can produce two kilowatts. So it's a two kilowatt inverter. So if you are looking at getting a replacement inverter, the best one to go is a, a replacement two kilowatt unit. So look, uh, if you're on the Gold Coast of South East Queensland and you do have an issue with your eating inverter and you need help, don't hesitate to contact Gold Coast Solar Power Solutions. We can certainly help you out. Thanks for watching this video. I hope it's been helpful.